What's up guys, another public service announcement here. Today I'm going to walk you through basically how to change a tube on a tyre. That would be a wheelchair tyre, it's not cars or bikes on all that fucking shit. So what you'll need, you'll need tyre, you'll need tube, see here tube, excuse the camera angles, you also need the wheel. You shall also need some of this rim protective liner fucking tape bullshit, whatever the fuck. So you need some of that. I'll do all this in real time so you can all see what's going on. I don't do camera editing skills on that sort of bullshit. It is what it is. It's all live-ish. So let me just grab some tire levers. Move all this shit out of the way. Tie levers, tie levers, tie levers, there we go. So, we have our tie levers. Now these ones, I don't know where the fuck these are, these are like, you get them off eBay or fucking bike shop or whatever. They're just plastic, as you can see. Sort of like a raised fucking edge or whatever. Same with this one, it's got a little hooky fucking thing on it. As you can see there. Yeah. Alright, so first thing you want to do, piss the tyre and tube off. Now with this thing you want to make sure there's nothing around the edge. Now I'm putting this onto an SLX Watts wheel. Uh, the method is the same, pretty much on all the wheels. Locate your tube valve hole, which is right there. Locate that motherfucker. That tube valve hole. Right here in front of me. Okay? You want to line it up with that hole for the tube to go through. Common sense. All self explanatory. Basically, the way to do it is just line up the hole for hole. And with one hand, hold where the hole is. Slowly go around the rim, as you can see. Yeah, let me move that for you. Now it won't stay still. <laughs> okay, as you can see there, go slowly around the rim with one hand. Now you don't need any tools to pinch this motherfucker on, you literally just go around with your fingers. Just like that. Pick that fucking wheel up from falling down. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? So there you go, see? Roll it around. There's the hole lined up, nice and neat. And what you want to do is, always do this from the opposite side of the push rim. Otherwise, don't fucking bother getting it on. All right, so I've got my tire. I've already pulled out the tube. When you grab the tube, inflate it with some air. That way it's up to shape. Stick it inside the tire. Um, that way you're ready to go. There it is there. Take the valve cap off. And what you wanna do is Grab your hole. Basically what you want to do is, there's the hole. You want to line up your valve with said hole. And basically push it through. I'm doing this blind. There you go. So that is now in there. There we go. As you can see just there. There it is just there, see where my finger is. Tube is in, all right. So now the rest of the rim and tire is floating up and down, not attached to the rim yet, that's good. Push your valve all the way in, as far as you can. And what you wanna do is, then you want to seal, you wanna fit the bottom bead, so not the top bead here, the bottom bead underneath. You wanna put that over the rim. That's the first thing you want to put over the rim. Do it with your hands. No dramas. 
you go around, move the, move the wheel around if you have to, pull it on, pinch it on. This tire has been off the rim for a while. So it's gonna take a fucking while. Okay, I will have to use a tire lever. Now the trick is, basically you just wanna get in underneath. So I lift that up, see that, I poke through. You wanna poke through over the edge of the rim where it latches on, so there's a little, little hooky thing here, that latches on. Basically what you want to do is you just want to lever it over, like that. Just like so. Try, what you want to do is try not to catch the tube and pinch the tube. Because as soon as you put it on, pinch the tube, you go to blow it up, it won't blow up. And you've got to fucking strip everything off again. Total waste of fucking time. Move that up a bit. Just want to go around slowly, putting the inner bead on. Again, you don't have to worry about the tube as much at the moment. You just want to get the actual fucking bead of this motherfucker on. There we go. So basically you got the first bead on. Okay, first bead is on. Then you want to tuck in the tube. Okay, go back around to where your valve is. There's a valve. Valve's here. Okay. Make sure everything's on. Then what you want to do, you can do this by hand, just with your fingers. Start at the valve. You can bring your valve back in a bit, that way you don't have any issues with the tube. You're gonna slowly start to put the bead on, working away from the valve. So you go left and then you go right. Slowly working it around, okay? Slowly working it around so that it seals in down past it. As you can see here, here is sealed in here is not sealed in, see what I mean? So you slowly wanna go around, seal that in, okay? Go in from the other side, make sure your tube's tucked away nice. You don't wanna pinch your fucking tube or anything like that. And again, <laughs> this tire has been off this rim for way too fucking long. Everything, you know, contracts in the cold, so I'm going to definitely have fun putting this motherfucker on. All right, again, make sure you don't want to pinch your fucking tube because it's a fucking pit. Now, when it starts to get hard, you know, I've probably got about this much left to go. Okay, it's still open. You can still see inside the, the fucking tire. You see the tube there, all that. What you want to do next, like I said before, grab your hook, tire lever, the little hooky part, little hooky part. You wanna basically push it in till you feel it latch over the edge of the rim. That way you can literally run it along the edge of the rim, no fucking dramas. And basically what you wanna do is flip it over until it pops in underneath said rim and the bead seals in. Now this is where it becomes tricky. Sometimes the other side will wanna pop out so basically what you have to do is hold that there. You want to hold one side in while you are putting another side in. So bear with me for a minute, this is where it gets fun. Because it's tight as fucking all buggery. You can just imagine how tight. I mean look at that, look how much it hangs over the fucking rim. The tyre is all the way over the rim. And again, you don't want to pinch the fucking tube. It's the last thing you fucking want to do. Just pinch the fucking tube. Because when you pinch the fucking tube, you end up taking all the fucking shit off and fucking screaming to fucking high heavens. Okie dokie. So 
So I can still feel the tube there. Heaps of tube in there. If you can, you can try and tuck the tube down with your tie lever. Remember, don't pinch it, don't force it. None of that sort of shit, don't struggle with it. Which is what I'm currently doing. And again, nothing wants to fucking seal. Now you'll start to feel it getting tighter and tighter and tighter. And again, don't rush, take your time. By this point it starts to get really tight. I've still got this much to go. Got a hand span to go still. Again, when it gets tight, you still want to hook your tire lever over the bead, like so. You don't want to pinch, you don't, don't want to pinch your fucking tube. It's always good to remember which way your lip goes as well on your little fucking tire lever thingy. <laughs> that always helps. There you go, little click. That happened. <laughs> good thing I've got another one. Find that. That's how much tension this motherfucker takes. Yeah, should just be able to go. Popsy doodle. All right, she's on. Now the fun part. Make sure it's pumped up. That took way longer than expected because it's cold as fuck. The tire has been off the rim for too long. It's contracted. It's not hot. It hasn't fucking expanded. Pretty sure I fucking pinched the tube anyway because I heard a fucking pinch. Um, when it comes to pumping the tire up, definitely do not, do not, do not do it with just a standard bike pump. You'll be there all fucking day. Um, best thing to do is get yourself like a handheld little pump, like a Milwaukee air pump, something like that. Um, or you can have one of these bad boys, it's like a handheld drill pump thing with a battery on the bottom. Uh, it's called an Air Hawk. The shit you buy on TV. Um, there you go. I'm not going to pump it up all the way. Um, but basically, pump them up to about 100 psi, put a little bit in, check it. You want to make sure your, all your beads and all that sort of bullshit are sealed. Um, see how much I want to. PSI, I want PSI, yep. There you go, 105. There we go. It's all sealed around properly. Done. That's basically how you do it, using levers. Take it easy, guys.